Before we delve into examining model rocket flight computer circuits, it's crucial to grasp one last foundational technology, the basics of a microcontroller's timekeeping, the crystal oscillator. Have you ever wondered how a clock keeps time? Since its origin, it has used some oscillator that marks the elapsing of one second by which it turns its pointer. The oscillator itself changed many times over the creation of the clock. At first, it used a pendulum, then something similar to a tuning fork, an LC circuit, and today a piezoelectric crystal. Similarly to a watch, our integrated circuit also needs some impulse generator to control servos, read out sensor data, or transmit information through the air. The first way to create timing is by using an LC circuit. Let's connect a charge capacitor to the resistor. As soon as the resistor is connected, the current reaches its maximum, as the voltage is highest at the beginning. The current then slowly decreases until the capacitor is uncharged. Now, let's consider what happens if we replace the resistor with an inductor. The capacitor has a maximum voltage at the beginning and wants to create a maximum current. However, the inductor resists changes in current and induces a voltage in the opposite direction. Therefore, the current only slowly rises. The inductor builds up its magnetic field until the current reaches its maximum. Then it decreases as the capacitor empties. However, this time the inductor resists the current decrease and induces a voltage and current that wants to keep the flow going. The inductor pushes current into the capacitor and charges it again but in reverse polarity. Consequentially, the current flow is in the reverse direction for the next half. The cycle begins again and the current of an LC circuit takes the shape of a sine wave. This sine wave is the oscillator signal we have been looking for. In an ideal world, the oscillation would go on forever. However, there is some resistance in the circuit, so it is an RLC circuit. The resistance gradually decays the amplitude until no oscillation is left at the end. The piezoelectric effect is a phenomenon where a quartz crystal generates a voltage when subjected to mechanical stress. Conversely, if a voltage is applied across a quartz crystal, it undergoes elastic deformation. Upon removal of the voltage, the crystal returns to its original shape, generating a voltage in the process. In a crystal oscillator circuit, this effect is harnessed by using the voltage signal generated by the quartz crystal. This signal is amplified and fed back to the crystal. The result is that the crystal oscillates at a precise resonance frequency, determined by the rate of expansion and contraction of the crystal. This resonance frequency enables the crystal to function akin to a RLC circuit but with significantly lower energy loss per cycle. The symbol for quartz crystal in circuit diagrams typically consists of a rectangle with two parallel vertical lines on each side. A horizontal line is connected to each of the lines representing the pins. The rectangle itself symbolizes the quartz crystal element. When selecting a quartz crystal component for a circuit, we can typically choose the resonance frequency from a range of options. Common resonance frequency options include frequencies such as 4 MHz, 8 MHz, 60 MHz and so forth. When selecting quartz crystals, other factors to consider include the frequency tolerance given in parts per million, the temperature stability and the low capacitance. Low capacitors are often required in conjunction with the quartz crystal. These capacitors help stabilize the crystal's oscillation by providing the necessary capacitance for the circuit. Now, let's summarize. To ensure precise timing for communication protocols and integrated circuits, we commonly utilize quartz crystals. When a voltage is applied to a quartz crystal, it contracts and subsequently releases a voltage as it returns to its original state. By amplifying and feeding back this voltage output into the crystal, oscillation is achieved. This oscillation, characterized by the crystal's natural resonance frequency, is notably more power efficient than other methods as it minimizes energy loss per cycle. When selecting a quartz crystal, we must select the resonance frequency 
frequency tolerance, temperature stability and low capacitance. Low capacitors are needed to stabilize the crystal's oscillation. The full course is available on Udemy.